Hey booktube, this is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching books I'm not reading. Um, I'm here today with a short Friday Reads video and just to let you know what I've, what I've been reading lately. Um, I realize many of you don't get to the end of my videos, so I've, I've decided to start putting this at the beginning as well as the end, but the motto of this channel is essentially be kind to yourself and be kind to others, and in 2020 we've added the caveat and being kind to others can be uh, wearing a mask, so that's really important to remember. Um, in the state of Wyoming, the governor gave a press conference this morning and said he's still thinking about what we should do. <sighs> like, no decisions made whatsoever, even though he admitted that there is no curve in our state right now. It is a trajectory. It is straight up. It is just a solid line, straight up. It's out of control. And it's just a really, really scary time. So, um, so that's what's happening here in my reading life. Um, I talked about this, I think, last Friday. Um, I did finish Ken Mansfield's Between Wyoming's, and I hate this book. <laughs> I was so angry. There were so many times that I wanted to give up. But I feel like I did a DNF tag this fall where I said, oh, I don't ever DNF books. The other thing was I couldn't figure out why the guy had named the book Between Wyoming's. And so I had to at least read until I got to that point. So thank you. Oh, so happy to be done with this book. Definitely be getting rid of it, um, but I am going to do a special review of um, Between Wyoming's this weekend. So if you want to watch a rant review where I go a little bit crazy, because honestly, like just the sight of this book makes my blood like I can feel my blood pressure like rising up. Um, and so when I was done with that, in the midst of everything else that's happening in the world, I just I wasn't sure I could really cope with, not cope with, but I wasn't really sure I was ready to tackle another nonfiction book. Uh, so I grabbed this from my pile, The Girl on the Train uh, by Paula Hawkins. Now I know I'm probably the last person <laughs> to read this book. Uh, Jason, I think, picked it up for me at Target long ago. And um, and then I talked to my mom about it once on the phone because my mother actually read this, which in hindsight surprises me a little bit. Uh, and she basically spoiled the entire thing. So fortunately my brain doesn't always uh, process things correctly. And so I've just been essentially waiting until I'd forgotten what she said. <laughs> and uh, so I was able to read this. I'm, I'm pretty sure that I had at least read the first chapter of it um, when I started this book, but I, I tore through it um, in a way that I haven't torn through any book in 2020 probably. In, in part, this is a great distracting book. If you if, if any of us were flying anywhere, <laughs> this is the kind of book you want to have on a, a long uh, plane trip that you can just read the whole thing uh, on the way to Paris or London <laughs> or someplace exotic and, and, and it will totally grip you. Um, I won't go into the plot because I think, like I said, you know, I know I'm among the last to read this. Um, but I, <laughs> essentially this is a book about four people, four and a half maybe people, oh, actually no, no, it's five, five people, one of whom is borderline, but the other four definitely all making bad, bad life choices. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I'm laughing, and I know I do that a lot on my channel, but yes, like, people in this book are really messed up, and have really messed up lives, and Paula Hawkins managed to 
make it interesting and make you want to keep reading. So if you need a distraction, if you've been watching too much news, um, or if you just need something else to think about um, and you haven't read this book, I would recommend it for that. It is a great distracting book. I was hoping to get rid of this book, but now Jason is curious and so I won't. I, we will be holding on to it for a little while longer. Okay, so what I'm gonna be reading this weekend in between massive amounts of chores because I have let my home get out of control in terms of messiness, but I'm gonna start reading another um, one of my nonfiction November as well as a curious adventure books which, and I never know how to hold this book up in a video, it's The Horizontal World, Growing Up in the Middle of, Growing Up Wild, excuse me, In the Middle of Nowhere by Deborah, and I believe it's Mark Hart. I apologize, I'm not sure how to say it. I am really hoping though, like, that this book actually is about what it says it's going to be about, because I've had a couple of books this year that I have been deceived by, like this one <laughs> and it's just frustrating like have you had that experience where you think you know what journey you're going down on a book and it turns out to be something completely different and I mean honestly like if that if if this book didn't have the title that it did I would never have read it no I will talk more about that in the rant video to come. Um, anyway, so I am going to start this, um, and like I said, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, it is not about Wyoming. It is about, I believe, yeah, rural North Dakota, which, you know, I think, I think definitely there are parts of rural North Dakota that are considered the middle of nowhere. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. I've ha uh, this is another book I've owned for quite a while, and so it's just time to get to it and decide um, is it something that I'm going to cherish and keep and hold on to, or can I let it go and let somebody else enjoy it. The next book is a, um, and I may have mentioned this last week, I apologize, Sinner's Welcome by Mary Carr. So this is a poetry collection and it also includes an essay on poetry and faith. And I have been trying to read more, more poetry this year, so I'm looking forward to this, but I, I just couldn't concentrate on anything really last week. So... This weekend, I definitely intend to get this started. I would love to hear about what you are reading this weekend, um, what exciting things uh, you've been discovering amongst your shelves, and also if you have any stories about um, being deceived by the title or a cover of a book. I'm, I really don't read flaps um, because sometimes they tend to spoil things for me. So I'm willing to take part of the responsibility for some of the books that I have read and, and, been, and been really um, caught off guard by, but uh, yeah, <laughs> so I would love to hear if that's ever happened to you. All right, booktube, remember to be kind to yourself and be kind to others. It's so important right now in this world. Um, take care, stay safe, be well, and I will talk to you very soon, book two. Bye.